Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to database tutorials with Visual Basic uh, .NET. The last tutorial we talked about opening a database connection. In this tutorial, we will be talking about how to read the data from a table. Okay, there are a number of steps you need to do when you want to read the information from a table, and uh, these are simple steps but you must execute these in order. Uh, obviously the first thing you need to do is to define a connection and here uh, uh, of course uh, you must open a connection with the target database. Next you need to define what is called a command and commands basically allows you to query the database and uh, accessing the tables okay and uh, performing other operations such as inserting, deleting, or updating other uh, other uh, other rows. Okay, and all, uh, you will need to set the text, and the text here means the SQL command. For example, select star from uh, uh, employees or something like that. Okay, so this uh, or insert into table name whatever values and uh, you need to define a transaction a transaction will be covered in the next tutorial next you need to define a data reader and the data reader will allow you to access the table or the result row by row okay and finally you are going to use what is called a cursor in order to get the value now when you want to uh, get the value from a table the table might contain thousands of thousands of records because of that uh, the memory might not be uh, suitable to do to do such a thing um, because of that you use what is called a cursor and the cursor is more like a pointer that will tell your computer or your program uh, which row it could communicate with so when you start reading information from a table the cursor will will point to the first row when you read the confirmation of the first row you, uh, the pointer or the cursor will go to the next one and then it will go to the next one and then it will go to the next one until it reaches the end and there is no other data to read okay so this is uh, how it is done now let's consider this example um, I have uh, this I have this uh, database on the desktop it contains a table called employees this is the name of the table it contains column called ID and another one in ME uh, so these are the values now the code is already written to speed up things now first thing here we are going to open the connection to the database as with the previous tutorial you need to provide the connection string as you can see here and then the connection is open next you need to open a transaction object and uh, we are going to cover transactions in the next tutorial so all you need to know right now is that here you just say begin transaction and transaction begins next you need to define a command as we said the command allows you to perform operations again the database like reading or writing or updating it so here this is a command object you need to uh, specify the text of the command and this will tell the command what should it do so here select star from employees means get me the information in the table employees okay uh, you need to know a little bit of SQL in order to be able to do that okay now after you open the con uh, sorry after you set the uh, command text you are gonna set the connection so that uh, this command knows which database it should work with you need to specify the transaction now everything is ready we can start reading the information so we are going to use my reader this is uh, the object or the data reader that allows me to access the data row by row as i explained here okay the it is more like it, it's this pointer that's telling me which row i am accessing okay so now I say my reader equals cmd dot execute reader. Now I get I get the cursor. Now the technique you use in most of the cases is similar to this one. Uh, do while there is a, a row to read. Okay, uh, this part is gonna get me the ID. 
okay so my reader which is the pointer get me the item ID uh, but in the uh, in the item I just provide the name of the column it's gonna return the value for me same goes here okay uh, it's as simple as that and uh, it will keep looping until all the rows are read okay after that you close the reader okay uh, also you, you need to close the transaction and then the connection okay that's all so let's uh, run this code and see how it works and I click this one Smith Michael John Todd and Tim now I'm gonna add a little bit to this one and uh, rewrite the code so that you can see it in action uh, instead of this I'm gonna write uh, I'm gonna put a data grid view let me see where is that um, ABC and this data grid view this is it okay and I am gonna add two columns this one is gonna be ID and this one is gonna be name okay and the close so ID and name and this one's not bound to anything so I'm gonna put another button okay I'm gonna change this okay and let me see um, open connection and full the data grid view okay so uh, I'm gonna make the code a little bit different so dimension connection equal new OLADB OLADB connection I need to provide the connection string and uh, I'm gonna copy it from here okay then connection dot open okay now I'm gonna define the command dimension cmd as a new OLADB OLADB command and here I'm gonna uh, fold this one right away okay so I'm gonna use this constructor so um, select star from employees okay then I need to provide the connection okay and uh, as for the transaction I'm gonna use connection dot begin transaction okay so now I just combined all these parts together which is this one and this one and this one and this one I combined all of these in one single statement okay now now I have uh, the command I will now define the data reader dimension dr okay you can just write this uh, cmd dot execute reader and visual basic will recognize what data type this one should be now do while dr dot read so now we are working with the cursor dr dot close connection dot close okay so here it's going to be very simple dimension b1 uh, equal it's going to be uh, dr dot item this is the id column and dimension b2 equal dr dot item and me okay this is just for clarification and now uh, data grid view one dot rows dot add v1 v2 that's all okay um, obviously I need to clear the previous content of the data grid so data grid view one dot rows dot clear that's it okay now if I run this code I click this one here you can see that I was able to fill the data grid okay uh, it's very straightforward so again I open the connection I define the command I s uh, supply the text of the command the connection and the transaction object I'm gonna execute the reader and uh, this will open a cursor for me that allows me to access data row by row 
I am getting the fir uh, the ID column for the for the first row, the name column for the first row. Do some processing, and then I will move to the next one. Do uh, the same processing. Go to the next one. Do this processing, and so on. Keep keep me in the loop until there are no other rows to process, and finally go out of the loop, and and then close this uh, result set. Okay. So um, this is how you can read the information of a table, uh, okay? And uh, this is actually the first use of commands. Other uses include update, insert, at, and delete, and uh, we will cover these uh, in the next tutorial. This is all for today, okay? So check out the website, um, ka-sub.com for other tutorials and videos and how to also you'll find the source code there if you have further questions let me know uh, send your emails to notes at mkadisov.com thank you and have a nice day bye bye